Here's 5 daily Unas for getting collectibles. Let's hop right in. To get started, let's go over Unas. Hold Alt, press J to access the Una menu. Una dailies are a popular way to get extra honing materials. In addition to this, navigate to the Reputation tab. We get reputation from completing Unas. These come in multiple tiers, usually the last giving something special. In this video, our goal is 3 giant hearts, 1 omnium star, and a skill point potion. Getting 12 giant hearts gives us 12 skill points and a blue wealth rune, which is really good for classes that need their identity meter for damage. For collecting 6 omnium stars, we get another 12 skill points, a purple overwhelm rune, and a gold wealth rune. Alright, so our first Una daily is taking on Tuki. Tuki Island spawns every 4 hours. Set an alarm for Tuki Island in your alarm settings in the top left. Ocean Liner over to Lutera or Arthaton. I recommend getting an early start. There are 4 potential spawn locations for Tuki Island. Open the world map and type in Tuki Island and the 4 locations will blink. You can also ask area chat to see if anyone else has found the island. Tuki Island is a 3 part event that finishes by defeating the Tuki King. Afterwards, head over to the entrance of the island to finish the island event for a chance at the island soul. Complete this island 30 times to get the 7th giant heart. This is basically a month worth of doing Tuki Island. Head over to Shadow Moon Market, east of Rohendel. After completing a long prerequisite chain quest, we'll have the new daily Una called Super Secret Materials for a Super Secret Project. Accept it and take pictures of elementals in the north, then head to the south and gather mandrakes. Talk to some NPCs and we're done. We need this daily Una completed 5 times. There are more steps needed to get the giant hearts though. Step 1. Complete the island co-op event, Shadow Moon Dance. This is much easier with a friend and spawns every 30 minutes. Step 2, we have some hidden story points to find. Here's the first one, here's the second one, the third one, and the final fourth point. Step 3, take 30 pictures of gold elementals and then 100 pictures of each red, blue, and green elementals. Step 3 was the most frustrating part of this. Step 4, at the bottom of the map, complete this quick hidden quest. It takes about a minute. Once we're done, head to Atsin near the elementals. We'll receive some gold, the island token, and the 12th giant heart. Our next Una daily is on the Azure Wind Island, north of Yorn. Accept the daily Una, Rufians in the ground. This one is much easier, we need to defeat 25 beetles on the island to complete. After doing this 15 times, we'll get the 11th giant heart. Now let's go for an Omnium Star. After completing the Punica story, we'll have access to Ponda Purification. Accept the daily Una and head to Tika Tika Colony. We need to defeat flowers and demons to complete this daily Una. Once we complete this daily Una 7 times, we'll unlock another daily Una called Mayhem Piles on the Altar. This is also done in Tika Tika Colony. Defeat demons again to complete it. Once we've done it 14 times, we will have the second Omnium Star. Our next daily Una on the list has a few prerequisites. Head over to Whispering Islet, which is east of Punica. Complete the initial quest here until you reach Nivina. This will unlock the Una Daily Whispering Resonance. There's three tiers of daily Unas for this, requiring three different songs. The Song of Resonance comes from a merchant in Peito. We need 16,500 pirate coins. For the next one, we need to complete quests on Lullaby Island and participate in the Island Co-op event, which also requires the Song of Resonance. This will give us the Forest Minuet. Lastly, we need to do the Adventure Island Harmony Island. It's random getting the Song of Harmony from the event, so good luck on this one. Once we have all of those, complete the Daily Unas, Whispering Resonance two times, Whispering Minuet three times, and Whispering Harmony five times to get a skill point potion. Here's some tips to completing Daily Unas. Bifrost are your friend. When you arrive at your Una quest, make sure you save a Bifrost location. Getting to roster level 60 unlocks a second Bifrost slot. After completing an Una Daily, you can save it to your favorites by pressing the star icon. Then just go to the top left of the menu and select Added to Favorites. Since Tuki Island takes forever, it's a good choice to spend your instant use daily Una passes to complete it. But we miss out on the island soul if we don't do the island. Alright everyone, that's it for the video. Good luck and have fun out there.